Hello friends. Today we will start divergence. If you are preparing for a competitive exam, divergence is very important. So please friend, watch this video till end. Let's begin. First, we have to understand del operator. If you if you don't know how to use del operator, you don't know how to calculate gradient, divergence and curl. So first we have to understand del operator. In Cartesian, in Cartesian coordinate, the del operator is del is equal to del by del x x plus del by del y y plus del y del z z. Here del is the vector operator which acts on scalar or vector quantity. Remember del operator is not vector quantity. So in gradient, the del operator of scalar quantity we get vector quantity. In divergence, del operator of vector quantity, we get scalar quantity. In case of curl, del operator of vector quantity, we get vector quantity. So first, we come back to our main theory is divergence. So first, we have to understand vector field. The vector field is the function that allot a vector to each point in the space. So in figure, we have a positive charge Q on the closed surface. Here, the elliptic field lines are greater or stronger near the positive charge. And if you are away from the positive charge, the flux is weaker. Here, I am showing a long arrow in case of strong electric flux and short arrow in case of weak electric flux. So here we have divergence in the mathematical form del dot v is equal to del by del x x plus del by del y y plus del by del z z dot v x x plus v y y plus v z z. Here x dot x is equal to y dot y is equal to z dot z is equal to 1. So here del dot v is equal to del v x by del x plus del v y by del y plus del v z by del z. So we conclude that divergence of vector function is a scalar function. Here we look a physical quantity of divergence. Divergence is the flux of vector field per unit volume means flux density. In figure 1, there is no charge inside the cube. In this case, the number of entering line is equal to the number of leaving line. In this case, we have zero divergence. In figure 2, we place positive charge inside the cube. In this case, the number of entering line is smaller than the number of leaving line. In this case, the divergence is positive. In figure 3, we place a negative charge inside the cube. In this case, the number of entering line is greater than the number of leaving lines. In this case, we find we have a negative divergence. Here, in figure 1, the electric flux is expansion over the positive charge. Then we get a positive divergence. In figure 2, the electric flux is converged on the negative charge. Then we get a negative divergence. In figure 3, we have electric dipole. In electric dipole, the field lines are created on positive charge and destroyed on the negative charge. Here, the charge is zero in midway between the two charges. Therefore, there is no divergence at the midway points. Here, a vector field has a zero divergence everywhere is called solenoidal or divergence less means del dot v is equal to zero. Now examples. Here we have a vector function v is equal to y square x plus 
इन ब्रैकेट टू वाई वाई प्लस जेड स्क्वेर इंटू वाई कैरेट प्लस टू वाई जेड इंटू जेड कैरेट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड डायवर्जेंस सो वी हैव डेल डॉट वी इज इक्वल टू डेल बाई डेल एक्स एक्स प्लस डेल बाई डेल वाई वाई प्लस डेल बाई डेल जेड जेड इंटू वाई स्क्वेर एक्स प्लस टू एक्स वाई प्लस जेड स्क्वेर इंटू वाई कैरेट प्लस टू वाई जेड इंटू जेड कैरेट so we know that del x dot x is equal to y dot y is equal to z dot z is equal to 1 so we have del by del x in bracket of y square plus del by del y in bracket 2xy plus z square plus del by del z in bracket 2yz so we got 2x plus 2y so finally we have divergence of v is equal to 2 into bracket x plus y Now we have a next example from IIT JAM 2019. In question, we have to calculate impossible metric field. Means we have to check del dot b does not equal to zero. So we take uh, every option one by one. So we have option A is equal to del dot b is equal to del by del x in bracket. First means x component 3x square z square plus del by del y. In A option, uh, there is no y direction, so it's zero. Plus del by del z in bracket 2x y cube, 2x z cube. So we get zero answer. So now for the B option, del dot b is equal to del by del x in bracket minus 2x y plus del by del y in bracket. y z square plus del by del z 2 y z minus z cube divided by 3 then we get zero answer now for the option c del dot b is equal to del by del x x y plus 4 y plus del by del y y x cube plus del by del z x cube z minus z square by 2 then again we get a zero answer now for the d option del dot B is equal to del by del x minus six z x plus del by del y three y z square plus del by del z into zero. Then here we do not have a z direction. So in D option is equal to minus six x z plus three z square is does not equal to zero. So our D option is correct. So friends, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.